The original Batman film from 1989 boasts an iconic score by Danny Elfman that's still a calling card for the Caped Crusader. So today we're going to look at the main theme from Batman to see how Elfman and his orchestrators, Steve Bartek and Shirley Walker, assembled the brass to create drama and darkness in a superhero context in this cornerstone of film music history. Batman's score used a large orchestra to create a heroic and dark sound to match Tim Burton's film, but the orchestra itself boasts a really large brass section in particular. Six French horns, six trumpets, four trombones, two bass trombones, and two tubas. The first a big chord that plays when the main title comes up utilizes all 20 brass instruments in a massive C-sharp major chord. The chord is in close voicing, stacked from bottom to top across the entire section. Here it is so you can hear it. So let's break this down per section and see what's going on here. The full chord is spelled out across all six horns with the notes interlocking between each pair of horns, which is common to do. The bottom two horns typically play low notes and here they're playing an octave in the bass clef. The trumpets play in pairs as well with the top two playing the top note, the middle two playing the fifth of the chord and the bottom two playing the root note an, an octave lower. All the tenor trombones are playing the full chord across all four instruments, the first, third, the fifth, and the eighth, and bass trombones play the first and the third an octave lower, and both tubas play the fundamental note in that octave as well. If there's anything to be aware of though concerning the voicing of this chord, be careful of voicing notes this close together this low. Because of the harmonic series and just physics, notes this close together in that register will tend to sound a little muddy. Trombones are generally brighter though, so you can get away with it here, but it may not sound that great with other instruments. So just be aware of that because that may not be what you're wanting. So in voicing chords this low, maybe open that interval up to a fifth and that'll give you a little more clarity and more resonance. Once the main theme gets going, the trombones give us this constant marching ostinato with the theme going between the horns and the trombones, with trumpets giving us rhythmic interjections like this section here. Horns play in unison a couple of times with our main motif of five notes, with low brass playing it occasionally as well. Thematically, it feels more appropriate to have these instruments play the main motif rather than the heralding trumpets. The advantage of the trumpets though is that they can be very crisp and precise with faster rhythms. Not that the other instruments can't be, but it just comes out clearer on the trumpets. So the trumpets are used a lot in this section to give a lot of momentum rhythmically to the phrase. It's also interesting to note when the whole brass section is used together for power, like in this measure right here, with the exception being the fifth and sixth trumpets continuing to drive forward with the rhythm. You may also have noticed that the horns are instructed to play cuivre, which means brassy, to give the sound a little bit more edge. Similarly, the trumpets, trombones, and tubas end up playing with Harmon mutes, which to me gives it a sort of noir feel. Uh, a lot of the style that Shirley Walker used in the Batman animated series, which I grew up on. It just feels so retro, I love it. So check out this moment where the brass is playing just a harmony. The use of the Harmon mutes specifically convey this sort of feeling as opposed to straight mutes, which is sort of the default mute when you ask for them. If you're curious where I got this score book, this is from Omni Music Publishing. I got this a couple of years ago. They have a new edition of this out and I think they're currently sold out, but do check back. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can get your hands on the Batman score as well because there's a lot of great stuff to look in here. I'm going to put up a PDF of the brass voicings that I made for this video and make it available as a downloadable um, for sketch and score level patrons over on Patreon, so check that out if you're interested. This video, by the way, was sort of an extended version of my hashtag score study Sunday short videos that I put up on Instagram, TikTok, and here on YouTube. I have a whole playlist of score study Sunday videos that I've made, so you can go check those out. They're only a minute long, so let me know if you're a fan of this format so I can break down larger chunks 
of music. So until next time, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ernesto Composer. You can visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash Ernesto Composer. You can get access to templates, score study versions of my own published works, score study Sunday hangouts every single month, and more goodies. You can visit my website at ErnestoComposer.com. Thanks so very much for watching, and as always, take care. Mm-hmm.